Hello my lovelies, I'm back again and yes, I'm very happy today and i let you guess why I'm so happy today because Etihad Airways is hiring, yes! <laughs> I'm just gonna show you quickly what's outside my room because I think it's getting dark now. So let me just show you. By the way, I am in Vietnam. This video has nothing to do with my hotel room tour or anything like that. I just wanted to quickly show you outside because it's very rare I have come to this place in the last eight years because we stopped operating passenger flights here. We only and only do cargo flights. So yes, I'm here back again and I'm very happy to be here. And my happiness is doubled when I got to know Etihad Airways is hiring. So I'll get more into that in a bit, but let me just quickly show you something. So this is my hotel room view, you guys. It's very gloomy and gray because it's been raining. You can see the clouds. It's very dark. But look at this. It's a beautiful view. I have this football stadium, I believe, over here. This is a main street. You see a lot of bikes on the street. It's a very integral part of Vietnamese society, I believe, going around in bikes. I remember this from Vietnam that people love to use bikes, which is a good thing, you know. So yeah, that's it. This is my hotel view. And that's my room, very quickly. No room tour this time. So now quickly back to why I even decided to make this video today. And I'm just gonna grab my cup of tea and I'm gonna talk to you guys. Okay, I just called for room service and it's here. <laughs> so, let me see what's in there. I mean, I know what's in there, but I just want to confirm it's my order because a while ago they brought me something which wasn't mine and he just left it by the door and he left and I, I know that I didn't order anything so I was like excuse me I didn't order anything and then he was so confused he looked so so confused anyhow he took it away and it's sorted by the way let me show you guys <laughs> it looks so yum <clears throat> oh this is what I ordered you guys this is the Vietnamese spring roll is seafood and vegetable and I ordered two portions of it because they are so so yum so don't worry I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of this I will probably take something home and by the way <laughs> since you're looking at it look at this thermometer Oops. they leave it here in the room for us to take temperature so yeah and in the morning, I woke up just to do my PCR. So it was like 10 o'clock or something that they called and they said that you have to come for the PCR. So yeah, I woke up from my sleep and went downstairs just to get my PCR done. But that's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Very soon, you guys are gonna be doing all these things as well. And now we're gonna talk about how to get there. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, we are going to straight dive into today's topic, which is Etihad Airways is finally hiring and I'm so, so happy about it. And today I'm going to talk about what is going on, what is this process all about, how to apply and what to expect. So let's get into it. I have my iPad over here. I will simply type Etihad Careers. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just simply type Etihad Careers and the first link you get is going to direct you straight towards where the recruitment page is. So you don't have to go to etihad.com. You can just write in Google search Etihad Careers and then they will send you to careers.etihad.com and then you will get onto this page right over here which says Careers at Etihad. Okay, I don't know if I can show you properly, but then I will just scroll down. I'm also going to read it out to you. We are looking for people who are passionate about aviation, passionate about our aims and objectives, and love to work in a friendly and transparent environment. Our team helps us to deliver a unique travel experience for our guests. If that sounds like an organization you feel you can contribute to, get in touch with us. So yeah. That's the beginning of it, working at Etihad. 
So the first option you see is cabin crew. Join the Etihad Airways cabin crew family and travel the world with Etihad Airways. Imagine waking up in Abu Dhabi, having breakfast in New York and eating lunch in London, which is so true. <laughs> so they said learn more and assessment days. So I'm going to first go to learn more. So here. Oops. So I'm just going to quickly read into this. Want to travel the world whilst working? As Etihad, we can make this a reality. Join the Etihad cabin crew family and explore over 100 destinations across the globe. Back to careers, more about Etihad Aviation Group. So, of course, they have posted a video over here. You can go and have a look. So, there are two hyperlinks, which is back to careers and more about Etihad Aviation Group. I highly, highly recommend you go through every single page of this because you will always find information, new information, which you can use for your assessment day. It's always good to know as much information as you can for a company you're intending to apply for. So I'm not going to play the video, but um, then they have just given more information. Is the role right for me? As Etihad cabin crew member you're the face of our airline we want to make sure this is the right job for you and you are the right fit for us so here they have given the requirements so i'm going to quickly read it up i'm going to quickly read it up aspire to become cabin crew high school graduate which is 10 plus 2 arm reach of 212 centimeters while standing on tiptoes i've been always telling you what your height is is irrelevant as long as you're able to stand on your tiptoes and stretch your arm and touch with your fingers tip of your fingers 212 centimeters it doesn't matter no matter what your height is you're gonna be fine and even if it is a little bit less i would still go for it so don't worry about i'm um, one centimeter less or two centimeter less or even five centimeter less just go ahead and apply fluent in english written and spoken it's mandatory in any of the airlines you have to communicate in english you have to make your reports in english you have to write your notes during training everything is in english so it is a must no visible tattoos while you're in etihad cabin crew uniform cosmetic and bandage coverings are not allowed i have always been telling you that anything which is below this you know for girls and for guys on your arms it's not allowed so if you have tattoos from here to here here to here it's not allowed on the neck the visible part of your neck it's not allowed if you have it over here it's fine the back of your neck the top part it's not allowed and the back the lower back upper back it's fine then i always told you that if you are i'm gonna have to stand on the chair you guys excuse me and this is a swivel chair <laughs> so up until here above this it's okay for you to have tattoos anywhere here anywhere below this it's not okay though you have an option of wearing trousers they sometimes need you for promotional events or they might ask you to wear a skirt for certain reason and in that case if you are not able to wear a skirt then it's not okay and that's why they say that cosmetic and bandage coverings are not allowed so yes you have an option to wear trousers when you're flying and actually they just introduced it like two years ago before that we never had an option to wear trousers unless you were going to Jeddah, but that's about it. But you could not wear trousers for any other flights. Now they made it okay to wear trousers for any of the flight you choose to, but the company has the right to choose you for promotional events and various other reasons. And for those reasons, if they ask you to wear a skirt and you're not able to wear a skirt because you have a tattoo, it's not okay. So that's that comfortable to work irregular hours and on a roster so you know that i work on a roster you see how i sleep how i eat how i wake up i'm sure you all are aware about the cabin crew do not have a schedule we sleep in the daytime we awake in the night and so and so forth you get used to it and if you're mentally prepared for it this shouldn't be a problem then positive confident flexible and friendly all the four qualities which are very important for a cabin crew you have to be positive as a cabin crew because you're going to face so many different things every single day and if you have a positive outlook i know you're going to find solutions you're going to be more constructive more productive it's as simple as that 
confident of course you have to be confident you're gonna deal with first aid you're gonna deal with safety you're gonna deal with several different challenges every single day so you have to be confident in taking up a task and finding solutions and resolving it flexible of course you have to be flexible you have to be flexible in your schedules you have to be flexible in how you are as a person because you're going to be working with 160 different nationalities it's going to be different culture different people different ways of communicating different ways of working so you're going to have to mold yourself accordingly every single day so of course you have to be flexible and friendly that's the basic of being a cabin crew you have to be friendly to your colleagues you have to be friendly friendly to your co-workers and most importantly you have to be friendly towards your guests. Guest experience is at the paramount you know you have to genuinely interact with your customers and I love to do that with my passengers on board you know when somebody comes in your aircraft you literally have to think like it's your home and you're welcoming your guest at home and whatever you do when you welcome your guests your friends at your house is what you will have to do on board it's like welcome them with a warm smile offer them a drink help them assist them show them around introduce them to different things products and services while at your home you're going to show your friends around your home what you have what you don't have you're going to give them options and choices for drinks and food you're going to welcome them with a big smile you're going to do everything possible to entertain them and you're going to make sure that they leave very happy from your house, right? So that's exactly what you have to do on board. It's nothing difficult. So yes, it's very, very basic requirement for you to be friendly as a cabin crew and passion for travel and adventure. I'm sure you're all very excited for that because that's a huge, huge, huge benefit of being a cabin crew that you can travel the world, you can go wherever you want, you can have so many different adventure. Every single month is packed with adventure of course with corona it's a bit slowed down but, but i've been working as a flight attendant for 15 years you guys so i know what i'm talking about when it comes to adventure and traveling and having fun so being a cabin crew is big on that so can adapt to new people new places and new situations like i've always said that you're gonna have different people you're gonna work with different people you're gonna have different environment and different situations so you have to adapt to it so adaptability is also very important and thrive in a fast-paced and changing environment it's always different you know every company evolve every industry evolve and we have to evolve with it so we have to adjust to the new changes like we have adjusted as employee of etihad you know the airline had gone through different changes we have a change of service we have a change of procedures you have so many different changes which keeps coming in and also the external world so whatever is required out of us the company tried to adapt to it and along with the company you have to adapt to it so yeah, it's ever evolving and ever changing. So that's a part and parcel of this industry. Ability to inspire our customers through innovative hospitality. You have to be creative on board, you know, bring, bring in your personality and let it shine on board. You're going to always have means and tools to do that on board. Then that means you have so so much of room, so much of room to be creative, bring in your personality and just to inspire people, you know, when they get on board. I remember this incident not too long ago. There was this cute little girl, probably like five years old, and I could see it in her eyes. She is in so much of the cabin crew on board and she was just constantly watching us and having a big smile and big eyes and she would not take her eyes off of us and I noticed that so it's important to recognize and notice these things and all I did was just remove my scarf and remove my hat and I made her wear it and I put my scarf around her neck and she was so so excited she was so thrilled and so happy and all of us came together and we took pictures with her we took her individual pictures the father was so happy and i know that memory for her is gonna be for a lifetime because you never know when she be older and she becomes a cabin crew she will always carry this memory that how someone treated her when she was so little and she will carry on the legacy you know what i mean so this is just one example there are so many events which happen 
every single day on flight you know so many beautiful memories that we create for people having birthdays or going on a honeymoon or somebody wants to propose their partner or like wedding anniversaries and so many different events you can always pick and choose or it could be just a normal day and you want to surprise and make someone happy you are by all means allowed to do that so Basically, this is what they are talking about, inspiring our customers with innovative hospitality and share collective passion for caring for others. It should be from within you. You should be that kind of person who empathize, who feel for other people. And that quality is very, very important for a cabin crew. Excellent personal presentation, style and image. It's the most important thing. You have to be well-groomed well-spoken well-dressed look presentable your style and image your face your makeup your hair your nails everything how you carry yourself how you conduct yourself everything that's part of style and image and it has to be immaculate ensure onboard safety and follow all the procedures this is what you're going to be taught during the training, but you should be capable of understanding it, clearing all your exams, understanding all the products and procedures, and just follow it. It's as simple as that. So those are the requirements for Etihad Cabin Crew. Think you have it, what it takes. So there they have given this information, an assessment day dress code. So clearly, they're very detailed in how they have made the website for the application. They give you exactly what you expected to wear, what you expected to do. And they have these pictures to guide you for that. So you can see these pictures for male and for female. This time I'll start with the male. So you have to be clean haircut. And you shouldn't have very long hair and gel it up. You, sh you should be clean cut. And your face should be clean shaven. And then business attire, which means... Uh, you can wear a shirt and a trouser, but they also said suit jacket are not mandatory, but preferable. So of course they're saying that they prefer somebody wearing a suit jacket and tie like this. But it's not mandatory. If you have it, it's good. If you don't have it, it's still okay. And then shoes, black formal work shoes so they are clearly stating that they require you to wear black formal shoes and for female hair neatly tied back so they expect you to make a nice bun or a french knot don't leave your hair in a ponytail i will give you some more tips about all these things in my next video but i'm just gonna quickly go through it now face full face of makeup so you have to apply your foundation uh, eyeshadow mascara i will tell you all the requirements of what exactly you should be wearing for your makeup for girls and also grooming standard for guys in my next video and business attire suit jacket not mandatory but preferable same is for the girls so, so i have done a video of it previously that how you should wear your jacket and your blouse and your skirt so suit jacket is again not mandatory but they prefer it suit jacket means you could be wearing your skirt and then you have a jacket and you have a blouse inside but if you don't have a suit jacket and if you just have a skirt and a blouse that's still okay but of course like they mentioned it's preferable they would like you to dress up like that and shoes wear heels i have told you before you don't wear a wedge heel or you don't wear platforms you wear a proper heel which is more broader it's more like a formal shoes and i will always recommend you to wear black shoes so the next thing is recruitment process they said if you meet the cabin crew requirement we will review your cv and conduct an evaluation if you feel you'd make the perfect addition to our team you will be invited to participate in an assessment day so they've clearly mentioned the steps, what to expect. So you don't have to keep guessing, oh, what is the next step? What is the next step? They clearly said if, when they see your CV and if you meet the requirements, their team will evaluate it and they will send you a response accordingly. Step two, the assessment day will include a reach safety check, individual experience discussion, English test, and a group exercise to showcase your teamwork collaboration and communication skills this will be followed by a final interview they have distinctly told you that once you do your online application their team will see if you're a good match for etihad airways and accordingly they will send you a response once you get a response you will have an assessment day because it is only by invitation 
so they will tell you where your assessment is going to be what time and so on and so forth in a personalized email and when you're going to be there for your assessment day they have clearly mentioned here what to expect on your assessment day so the assessment day will include a reach safety check so they will do a safety check which is probably your arm reach I think they're gonna do that first but I will also be very prepared for my height weight and grooming standards it's a must like when you go for an interview you have to be hundred percent ready so after that individual experience discussion so you could be from any background you could be a fresher you could be working in customer service you could be working in hotels restaurants uh, call centers as waiter or you could be doing anything previously they will just talk a little bit more about it depending on what they ask you next is English test and a group exercise to showcase your teamwork so they're gonna then do a English test I know it's a very basic English test where they're gonna test your grammar if you're gonna be able to formulate sentences it's usually a written test because you've spoken English they can definitely assess when you talk to them so this will be a written test and then a group exercise to showcase your teamwork so they will have like a group task where they will give you a topic to discuss along with the other group members and you just have to work with it so that exercise is to showcase your teamwork, collaboration and communication skills. This will be followed by a final interview. So that's it. After this, you're going to have a final interview. They said after your final interview, we will review your application and the results from your assessment day. We will be in touch as soon as we can to let you know if you've been successful. And they wished you all the best so this waiting period can be anywhere between one month two months or depending on how soon they require you but definitely they will get in touch with you whether you're successful or you're not so that's it guys this is the application process and you know they have made a small video again uh, about meet lache at our assessment days there are a few qualities which will make you stand out overall positive energy friendly mannerisms and great confidence with a clear passion for customer service, just to name a few. Find out some insight from our cabin crew team member Lache on how to make an impression at our cabin crew assessment day. So they have even given you a small video for you to have a reference and to watch it. So I'm gonna just play it for you now. At Etihad Airways, I feel like I can be my whole self. I've been with the company a little bit over three years now, and I love the fact that I can travel whilst I'm working. Any advice or tips from my side to become a cabin crew? I would suggest to be positive, open for new uh, opportunities, and just to be smiley. And let your career take off with Etihad Airways. So I believe this application process is so detailed. They have given you tips and tricks and they've given you videos to watch and to get cues from what they expect out of you and what you should be prepared for when you go for your assessment. And I think it's just brilliant how they have done this. And below that, they have written the benefits. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to read it out. Unlimited single status contract, tax-free salary and travel expense accommodation, training and development, hospitality and customer service, safety and emergency procedures, aviation security knowledge. So here are all these things, what you should be expecting that they will train you and they will provide for you. So, okay, after this, you will see on the same page, join now, that is for the talent community. And I'm sure by now, all of you must have applied here. But now where we have to go is back to careers and then the first one is cabin crew jobs and once you click that you'll have cabin crew Lebanon. So they are recruiting in Lebanon, Beirut assessment center, second one is Egypt, Cairo assessment center, third is Russia, Moscow assessment center, fourth is United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi Assessment Center, 5th is Morocco Rabat Assessment Center, 6th is Ukraine Kyiv Assessment Center and 
seventh is Romania Bucharest Assessment Center. So these are the assessment centers and this is where they will conduct the assessments. So let me just go into Abu Dhabi Assessment Center. Once I click that, you will see this. Cabin Crew United Arab Abu Dhabi Assessment Center. So here they have again mentioned the same requirements which I read it out for you. And here you have to go apply now. So once you go to apply now, there they will ask you your email address and password. So you're going to have to create an account. So put your email address and put your password and create an account for yourself because you will always have to track this for your application, where it has reached, what step are you on and so on and so forth. So you're going to have to create an account. I believe this is the first application for you. So you will go and click this. And then you will get the next page where they are asking you to put your email address, retype your email address. So the same email address, you're going to retype it here and choose a password. They've given instructions of how your password is supposed to be. I'll quickly read it out. It should be eight characters, must not be longer than 20 characters, must contain at least an uppercase like capital and one lowercase is like cursive. And the password must contain at least one number and punctuation character. It should not contain space or Unicode characters. So don't put space in it. Retype password, first name, last name, and choose your, choose a country region of residence. You choose that and the notification consent to email alerts about jobs you may be interested in, consent to email alerts about careers and life at Etihad. I would take them both and then create an account. Let me just quickly do that. So I've created a dummy account so that you're able to see the next page, which is this. You're going to get a page like this. And I will get in more details of what they're asking you on this page. So first of all, the first step is your documents. Only accepted files are docx, PDF, image, and text. MSG, PPT, XLS file types are not accepted for CV or cover letters. So make sure that it's in the right format. And then upload a CV, cover letter, attach a full length photo and business attire, Make sure it's in a proper business attire and proper makeup and hair, all the grooming standards that they mentioned in the previous photo. Just make sure you're taking a picture accordingly and preferably keep it in a white background. Passport copy photograph, again the same. And please use this section to attach any additional documents requested. The next thing is profile information. So here you're gonna have your first name, middle name, last name, your email address, your contact number, job title, current company, current residence, current city of residence, current country of residence. If you're currently or previously employed by Etihad, please provide your staff number. So that's for somebody who has previously worked for Etihad Airways. You have to write all this information here. Then job specific information, your nationality, second nationality, is this candidate part of our alumni pool? It's for somebody who has previously worked with Etihad Airways. It's for them. It's for them. For you don't have to worry about it. Do you have previous cabin crew experience? If you have, say yes. If you don't have it, say no. Gender. That's it. Then, do you meet the below minimum requirements for cabin crew role? Must be at least 21 years old at the time of application. So you have to be 21 years old. I know previously I have mentioned that if you're yet to be 21 years old, still apply. But here they're clearly mentioning that you must be at least 21 years old at the time of application. So you have to be 21 years old legally to be applying for this. Confident in water and be able to swim with the aid of a flotation device. So you don't have to swim, swim on your own. As long as you're comfortable with water and you're able to get inside the water and you're not having a phobia, like a fear of water, you're okay. As long as you're able to get inside the water with the flotation device, you're fine. You know, you don't have to be a pro in swimming. Minimum height of 165 centimeters. 
so i know they mentioned here 165 centimeters and previously they have mentioned that you should be able to reach to one two centimeters so i will apply regardless you guys i know you will be confused now earlier they said to one two centimeters and here they're specifically asking your height to be 165 centimeters trust me just apply it's not gonna hurt or harm you if they accept it it's amazing if they don't accept it they will let you know at least you try you know what i mean then no tattoos or body piercings except for one earring in the lower lobe of each ear for females only guys with piercings not allowed only female are accepted with lower lobe ear piercing all these piercings over here i don't know if you can hide it or if you can not wear it and try to conceal it those are the requirements they've mentioned here then willing to comply with uae and gcaa visa medical and health screening requirements no restrictions other than visa requirements for travel to any of our current etihad destinations so basically they're saying you should have a clean record that shouldn't be restricted to fly into any of etihad airways travel destinations and you should be compliant with UAE and GCAA visa and medical requirements. You should be fit and you should have a clean record. That's what they're asking you here. So you should write yes or no. You're de declaring that you understood what you read and you say yes or no accordingly. So please tell us why would you like to work for Etihad Airways and relocate to UAE. So here they're asking you that why you want to work for Etihad Airways and why would you want to relocate to UAE. And it should be 800 characters or less so here you should write your reasons for why you want to relocate to abu dhabi and your reasons to stay in uae and then they say are you willing to attend an assessment day in abu dhabi and you should say yes or no so yes you guys anybody who belongs to any other country except for lebanon egypt russia morocco ukraine bucharest which is actually romania then you can apply through Abu Dhabi if you are in, let's say, Asia or Southeast Asia. But if you are in the African continent, of course, you can go to Morocco or Lebanon. If you are in Russia or close by Russia, you can go to that assessment center or you can go to uh, Ukraine or Romanian assessment center. If you are around Europe, I guess Romania is easier, closer for you. Um, so yeah, these are the assessment centers you can choose to apply from. Whichever is the closest to you, you can click there and fill out your application and you should be able to travel to that assessment center if your application gets selected and you get notified by the company and they give you the invitation for the assessment day then you should be able to travel to that assessment center on that particular day. So please bear this in mind that people who are applying from other different countries, which are not mentioned here, you should be able to travel. So consider all your travel expenses, consider your time offs if you're working somewhere actively and all those things. So make arrangements beforehand only, only after your application gets accepted. And let me tell you, it's totally worth it to take that time off and to spend that money for your travel expenses to be able to make it for your interview day because trust me you're gonna thank yourself and you're gonna thank me that i'm glad smitha you told us that it's totally gonna be worth it you're hearing from a flight attendant who've been flying for 15 years out of which eight years in etihad so take it from you guys hands down it's one of the best opportunities for you go ahead and grab that and i cannot wait to see you someday in abu dhabi or somewhere on a flight so much love and best wishes for all of you